All right, happy Saturday. We're gonna do a little winery tour. Uh, so we are currently in New Haven, Missouri, which is about an hour and 20 minutes away from our hometown of St. Louis. So um, yeah, about an hour and 20 minute drive, meeting some friends, gonna have seven stops, and we're at the first one. So Robler, did I pronounce it right? Robler, Robler. The first stop is triple chocolate chili pairing with blush. Yeah, that wine. sounds awesome. So, so yeah, this is seven wineries. They call it the Chocolate Wine Trail, uh, and it's usually around Valentine's. So this is our first stop. Looks gorgeous. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll show you each wine pairing and food, or wine and food pairing. Yeah. So all right, so give us a like. Make sure to subscribe, and let's go check out our first wine pairing. Okay, first sample. They said it was a blush wine, and you get a little glass. Three triple chocolate chili. That sounds good. Does it taste like chocolate? I don't know. Mm. It does a little bit. I don't know. Chocolate to it. And we have our friends Jennifer and Michael. They're joining us. Hello, uh, hello. And we'll see how many samplings we could get. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> we need to put up a counter. I don't taste enough chocolate. <laughs> oh, enough chocolate? It's kind of spicy. Well, let's see. Is there onions in there? Mm. It's kind of hard to taste, knew, taste the chocolate. Yeah. There's a hint of it, but I'm digging it. <laughs> Oh, the wine's good. All right, stop number one, Robler Winery. We have a nice little mat here. As we like to say in February, not a lot of growing going on. All right, so we decided to go with an extra wine flight, uh, $20. Chili. I subbed out <laughs> two sweeter ones for Andrea. It's Sunset Sweet Red and White. And then my three, I have a Chamberson, Chamberson, Norton, and then a hillside cuvee, suvee, something like that. And then the cool thing is a $20 flight came with a crystal wine glass, says Robler. So got an extra glass. You can't just have That's one. Cool. You got to be able to cheer. They look like, so. these look like little jello shots. <laughs> they do. Not. All right. We'll see how you like this. All right, so I think this is Chamberson. Ready? Oh boy. And she filled them really full. Tall pour. Oh, that's, that's nice. Bad. And this one has to be Norton. So Norton I found is a grape, <laughs> Norton grape, which is popular in uh, central Missouri, Missouri. Oh, not bad. Hillside. Suvay. Stop number one is done, and now it's on to Bias Winery. Bias Winery. So. About 15 oh, minutes. I 15 think. minutes. Yeah. All right, onward. Bias Winery. So this one is kind of the crazy little trip through the backwoods. I don't know, you go over railroad tracks and it's crazy. Up hills. Yeah. But it's right here. So it's a what? A brownie? A uh, raspberry uh, fudge brownie paired with a Weisler Fleetler. Some sort of raspberry wine yeah. or something. All right, so let's go check this one out. And it's Bias Winery. Then we have our friends. Are you guys ready for more? Ready for more. Got our glasses. Let's go. Ready to go. That's a disrespect. How are you guys today? Good. How are you doing? Good. All right. So this is raspberry 
brownie and then raspberry wine. Yeah. And the wine, I could already tell you, is really good. Wine is good. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's excellent. Yeah, wait, very sweet. You like it? it it's sweet. really good. It's, it's a good dessert wine. So yeah. It tastes really yeah. good with that. Yeah. Not overly sweet. And the brownie, <laughs> up, good. Oh, the brownie's really good. <laughs> and then check out this view. <laughs> so, I mean, this is the epitome of the Missouri wine country right there. And I'm thinking if we came here in October, these trees oh. would all be like full of color. And, and the fan stand behind you. Oh, yeah. All right, the brownie's good. Go ahead and try those. I'll we'll probably have a tummy ache later from all the sweets. How about. Oh, I didn't get a picture. We're on. <laughs> oh, it's not too late. Yeah. All right. We found more samples. And then this looks crazy. A bacon, wild bacon wine trail. Yeah, so we're already going to sign up for this one. She's the one that's All right. Oh yeah, this one is smoky. Yeah. Yeah. The thing with the river milk. Oh, river. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's only one of the three that's smoky. And this is strawberry. It's pretty, I think I did like the raspberry better than the strawberry. Yeah. Yeah. So your raspberry I think is better than the strawberry. And you got a whole bottle of raspberry. Oh, score, look at that. Just Look out! Jeez. Yeah, this, Look at this bridge. I remember this one being very sketchy last year. Next destination, it is Reserve Cellars. I'm not quite convinced we've been to this one before. We but have. She says we have. Once, once he gets inside, you'll see. So this one, Reserve Cellars, I believe right now has, uh, this is the set that has the Rice Krispie Tree Ooh. chocolate. All right, all right, let's go. Look at the horse and carriage there. We have one. Yeah. Well, we don't want them to think they're getting yeah. every time. So All right. These are cool. Look at these Clydesdales behind us. Wow. Sam and Joe. Yep. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, they go on a couple they look like twins. They look like twins. They each weigh 2,200 pounds. Beautiful, aren't you? So, they look about 40 to 50 pounds of hay and grain a day. Wow. They seriously look like twins. Their blazes are a little bit different in the front. And Sam's a little wider. Let's remember the one. We didn't know there would be such the big hills involved. Holy cow. Alright, the burning's going How's it going, right Andrea? We're evening out. We're evening out. <laughs> it's a workout for this little sample. Holy cow. So we have golden deer. I'm not sure if it's... Oh dear. Oh, it's a dry. Dry? Yeah. And then we have a chocolate crispy treat, which I'm here for the crispy treat. <laughs> it's not really sticky. Okay, very good. I would never turn this down for dessert. Wow, you're flinging. <laughs> it's that he's oh, yeah. Not bad, so definitely my favorite dessert so far. Holy yeah. Cow. 
Oh, yeah. Mm. This is real good. It kind of reminds me of like a champagne or... Yeah, yeah like a sparkling. Some, not a whole lot of sparkling happening, but it sounds, it tastes like one. Yeah, I'm definitely into this. But I don't know what I like. Yeah, it's good. The, the sweeter whites, but... And it goes well with the... Uh, with the chocolate and rice krispies. <laughs> yeah, really well. For the win. Are you done? I think I'm done. You mean to finish that? No. Can we get Okay, so this was funny. I honestly, for a second, did not know which one to go into. Yeah, okay. Looks like Damon. Karen. Ah. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, that's funny. All right, that's the champagne. Champagne? Champagne. Oh, well, yeah, that's champagne. <laughs> champagne. <laughs> this is, so I tried Salute, Elevation, Synergy. This is Synergy. Yeah, uh, I agree. I like that one of the three. So this one is new this year. First time, the Reserve Cellars, and owned by one of the brothers of the Deerbergs family. This one was really cool, so Clydesdales, how could you lose? Okay, we are at our next two stops, and if you could see across the street, Deerberg, Star Lane, and then Hermanoff. So, there's two back to back, very handy. And it's actually G. Hausman. It's yeah. the name of one of them. And we're, oh yeah, we've had over, before we've had coffee at this place. I don't Doesn't think look it's open this open time. Anymore. Yeah, they had coffee and pastries over here. Yeah, yeah, there's really good things. Oh, look at all. That, that would be wine over there, but. Someone's feeling good. <laughs> hey, and we have our friends. Woo! <laughs> oh, he's doing the floss. Oh, you can't teach that. <laughs> all right. I do the floss all the time, and Andy's like, what are you doing? <laughs> you, you've done it several times. <laughs> All right, you totally can't teach that. <laughs> this is Herman Hoff, and we've been here before. This is um, chocolate bread pudding, and I'm hearing pineapple. And we're in the cellar. It has the cellar smell. Right. So we're serving today our 2018 Vignole. Ooh. It is a semi-sweet to semi-dry with hints of pineapple and mm. And we can pair it today with our homemade chocolate bread pudding. Got it. Wonderful, thank you. <laughs> I smell like, is that cinnamon? I don't know, it smells lovely. Something smells good. Mm. Yeah, how cool is this back here? Holy cow. Very uneven stones. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's warm. And this seems down here like it'd be the perfect temperature to store wine. White mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then that's yeah. perfect. Oh, the wine's really good. Mm -hmm. We need a little more wine for this. <laughs> this is good. Holy cow. Yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah. Did you like the bread pudding? Awesome. Oh. Yeah. And somebody left us Valentine's. Damn. <laughs> Alright, normally this is closed off. So, this is the first time we're seeing this area. Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. No admittance. Yeah. So we made it to Merrimack Caverns. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. So no admittance behind this point, but the GoPro. <laughs> Well, look at the place way up on the hill there. Yeah, we're back behind uh, to the left. And yeah, it was. It was wow. Blackshire. Yeah, I don't need any more. I really wanted to hit the Fenway. This is a big door. This is an Hi. Oh wow, there's the extra tastings over there. Cause it's. <laughs> Believe me, you can imagine oh. going home. Hey, Thank no. you. Oh, that on your heart. No, no, no. Thanks, guys. It's blackberry hey, wine with a raspberry white chocolate cookie. Blackberry wine and a chocolate oh, raspberry chocolate cookie. White yeah, it's chocolate sweet. Raspberry raspberry wine. Awesome. awesome. How are you, dear? Look at this place. Wow. Yeah. Here. I can look that off for you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh wow. That's it right It's almost like the bread pudding. It's like you're sinking. Yeah. But I like all the raspberry fruit stuff too. Mm. Perfect. Look at this part. Wow. Which one do you look at? Uh, oh, I guess you used to do Tama Go. Yeah, find something you like. Uh, so we both got the turkey and oh, yeah. Swiss on a pretzel bun. I the got steam. the hot. Cold. Look at that. That looks good. I had all my healthy stuff to get off. <laughs> That's the only way to go. Don't need that lettuce and tomato. This place is just really, really cool. Typically when yeah. we're Part up until like four. Yeah. yeah. It's three twenty-five. Alright, so Michael uh, has got us into a whiskey so. tasting on top of the mountain. So alright, I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. She goes on all the above. That's pretty good. It's kind of smooth. Yeah. Not too bad. Too bad. Ooh. This is bourbon mash moonshine. Um, we use our we use the same mash bill we use in the bourbon. It's just on it. So we've got corn, rye, and malted barley in here. Are you a little afraid of these? Oh, you. Oh, you missed Jennifer's face. She's. Well, this is a nice bar though. Awesome. Yeah. It's, nice. it's, it's good for 100%. Oh. I'm going to stick mm. with my beer. It's straight bourbon. That's 86 proof. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. a lot. For anything to be considered straight, it's got to sit in a brand new wine charred barrel for at least two years. Then for it to be considered a bourbon, we've got to have at least 51% corn in the mash. It's got to be distilled at 160 or below, bottled at 125 or below. Cannot have any coloring or flavorings in there whatsoever. And it has to sit in that oak barrel, um, and it has to be made in the United States. Mm. This would be considered your Missouri bourbon, where um, the corn and the barrels come from Missouri. Mm. So this is our really straight rye. How are you doing? For, again, for anything to be considered straight, it's got to sit in that brand new wine charred barrel for at least two yeah. years. Um, then for us to actually put the name of the grain on the actual label, we've got to have at least 51% of that grain in it. Therefore, we know that there's at least 51% rye in this, and we add in wheat and malted barley. Yeah. All right. no, we don't like rye bread. <laughs> no. Okay. So it's no, probably yeah. different It's rye. different, yeah. All right, I can smell this one more than the the last one. So it is a totally different taste. Is it clear? I think I could breathe. Oh, okay. well, then, uh... <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Yeah. I say, like my favorites are the the rice and the wheats. Yeah, they are just different. It's like tartar or. Oh. Yeah, it's it's a little it's yeah it's, it's not as not as sweet. Oh. Spicier. Peppery. Pe Peppery. That's a good one. Um, this is our anniversary edition. What we've got is what we've got. But um, this is a lot different from the two you just tried. First off, um, timing really doesn't matter. It's just the process of it sitting in two barrels. Um, that's where it gets the most double oak from. Um, it's got wheat on the label, therefore we know that there's at least 51% wheat in there. But these two have, the two you just tried have malted barley added to it, whereas this one does not. This well then you're right. gonna have to buy a case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not a bottle. <laughs> The case. Yeah, I know. Compared to the 60 I got right now. Okay, <laughs> okay. well, it doesn't smell as hard, so. Ooh, I like that. Okay, now that's like super smooth. Your Michael says it's good. To see. Okay, so what's the. Why isn't this one as harsh as like the last couple? It's still 80. It's 86 proof. I'll try um, this. Because it, uh, it is. <laughs> it's Complicated? <laughs> no. Michael just had us try whiskey that Fern, Fernway, Fernway Distillery. I like and the like, little right. So I thought wines were heavy hitters. Wines are like one wine's worth maybe two beers, but one little sip of this stuff is probably worth a wine. So thank you, Michael. <laughs> Onward. We are arriving <laughs> at the last place, Adam well, Puchta. For us, we're not going to make it to the seventh yeah. stop because it's over in 15 minutes. Yeah. And we made a detour. To we that. had lunch. Normally, we don't have lunch on a mine trail, so that was nice. But, all right, last place. <laughs> last place, we made it. Yes. Cheers. Oh, okay. So they have like a bistro thing. Wine trail here. <laughs> ah. What's the dessert? Is it chocolate pot de creme? Ooh. I heard pot of cream. Made a wine from the red and a pot of cream. He said. <laughs> Oh, oh, pot de creme, and a pot of creme. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's, it's delicious. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I have the little maraschino cherry on it. <laughs> oh, it goes very well. All right, well, do you have a favorite today? Wine and food? Ooh, I think I like the pairing of um, yeah. it had the raspberry fruit. Oh yeah, that was good. Yeah. The raspberry wine, yeah. <laughs> You may like the uh, chocolate, uh, uh, the chocolate rice krispies, and then that one kind of is really good. I agree uh, with Andrea that it is uh, the Just Up Sons one, where it's the, the raspberry dessert with the raspberry wine. Like that one I really, really enjoy more than anything. Even more than the chocolate. Yeah. The wine, I think that was the very first one. The first one? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, you have a bottle. Or, is that the one you have a bottle of? <laughs> the raspberry. Raspberry. Mm. Forget about the fried chocolate chili. <laughs> It'd be my favorite. 
Uh, but that's yeah. not really it. It's not a dessert, but it was chocolate cream. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. And then either that chocolate rice crispy. This is really good. Yeah, I would I would eat this. And you guys ready for the next wine trail? I am. May. The, I'm in May. The bacon. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Bacon, bacon and cheese. No beets. No beets. <laughs> yeah. No, no beets in the wine trail. Yeah. But, all right, well, just like a thumbs up. I think we're out. Last time. We did well. Thanks for joining us, friend. Yes, thanks for joining us. Yeah, had a great time. You're welcome. Just die.